So I get nailed with this argument a decent amount and I want to address it. People say, you're just trying to label people with depression when depression is a normal reaction to an oppressive, terrible environment. And I understand where you're coming from with that statement. I think there is this hesitancy to consider dysfunction, dis depression, if it is a normal response to trauma because we associate mental health with blame, i.e. it's your fault that you're sick. And we, we sometimes see it separately than physical health. I would encourage you to see mental health as mind injury. Your mind can be healthy in another environment, but still be injured by the things that are happening to it socially, environmentally, etc. Our situation with mental illness is like Flint, Michigan. We would be normal otherwise, but because there is lead poisoning in our water, we all have to take drugs to help get the lead out of our system. And I'm a doctor that prescribes one of those lead poisoning antidotes. And then someone else goes, well, I drink the same water and I don't get lead poisoning, so maybe it is their fault. Well, that's just great. And maybe you have super kidneys that can piss out all the lead you drink, but not everyone's kidneys work like that. Some people are predisposed to lead poisoning when they drink lead infused water. And everyone comes up to me and says, well, you're not even addressing the problem. Uh, we just need to get lead out of our system. I agree. It would be my dream to remove all of the lead from the water supply, but I can't touch that. And in the meantime, you still have lead poisoning. You would be healthy if you didn't have to drink lead-infused water, but here we are. And trust me, like I feel like a clown so many days, so many days at work. This is a hypothetical that's pretty close to real scenarios I have. Imagine a patient who lives under an overpass. They have a tent, they're wheelchair bound because they're an amputee, and they have no neurologic control over their bladder or their bowels, so they live in a diaper. They receive $2,000 a month, which goes through a fiduciary who gets them diapers and helps buy them food, but they still continue to live on the side of the street. And they just make, basically make it from diaper installment to diaper installment. And when I ask them what their stressors are in life, they say, there's the ice men. Ice men are people high on methamphetamine who ride bikes around the neighborhoods and will ransack their nighttime shelters and steal anything of value which is a very real and extreme stressor. And I cannot even fathom that people live in the same city as me and go through something like that. So, so I sit there and I think this person has every single reason to be depressed. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I feel completely helpless. I am, I am overwhelmed by the paradox of incompetency and, and I'm basically the face of a system that has failed somebody. And, and all I can say is, do you wanna stay at 50 Zoloft or go to 100?